This is a CBS 4 News update. Good morning, I'm Maribel Rodriguez. The calls for change are not slowing down in South Florida. Protesters held another peaceful protest in downtown Miami. The group marched down Biscayne Boulevard, stopping traffic for a while before heading to the Freedom Tower. The protesters also laid down in the street during the demonstration. Also Wednesday, a Miramar church led a protest with a powerful message, death to racism. They created Out of Love Church organized a police escorted funeral procession from Hallandale Beach to Miramar. Hundreds of cars took part in the demonstration, while many people holding protest signs out of their windows. Organizers urged those on hand to take their passion to the polls and vote for change. Now to the latest on the road to reopening in Florida. The Sunshine State is about to enter phase two of its plan, but Miami-Dade and Broward are not included just yet. Governor Ron DeSantis made the announcement yesterday at Universal City Walk in Orlando. He says starting Friday, bars, movie theaters, and other entertainment venues can reopen. Under the executive order, bars can open at 50 percent capacity indoors and full capacity outside with proper social distancing restrictions. Movie theaters, bowling alleys, and concert halls will reopen at 50% capacity as well. The changes do not apply to the three hardest hit counties, Miami-Dade, Broward, and Palm Beach, but it does include Monroe County. The Florida Keys just reopened to tourists on Monday. And Florida's largest association of educators is calling for changing how schools operate when the state's 2.9 million public school children return this fall. The Florida Education Association is suggesting staggered school schedules, suspending active shooting drills, and imposing social distancing rules on buses and classrooms with less than three months before schools open again. The State Department of Education has yet to release a reopening blueprint for schools across the state. Now, CBS 4 weather. Good Thursday morning, a flood watch in effect through tomorrow morning as throughout the day we'll see more rain and even through tomorrow and some showers are still lingering through much of Broward County, although most of the stronger storms are offshore and also stormy start for the lower middle Keys. So due to the clouds and the storms around today, highs will be in the low 80s. We'll see the potential for heavy downpours through tomorrow due to plenty of moisture. And as we head into the weekend, we'll be watching tropical storm Cristobal, which right now is over near Mexico, but expected to move into the Gulf of Mexico. And for us, scattered storms will be likely, but Cristobal is expected to weaken to a depression before it restrengthens back into a tropical storm and threatens the Gulf Coast states as we head into late Sunday into Monday morning. We'll be watching it. And that's the news for now. You can always find us on CBSMiami.com and tune into CBS 4 News at 567 and 11 for all of today's important headlines.